good afternoon. Welcome to the last home game of the season for Woking. Up against 19th place Eastleigh today. Woking are hoping to bounce back after that dispiriting defeat to already relegated Kings Lynn on Monday. Manager Darren Saar rings the changes, five in total. Craig Ross is back in goal. It's the same back Manages four of Long. Pick it up on the left-hand side. Feeds it into Casey. Casey forward to Ineffi on who heads it back to Rolls. Good little bit of interchange between Rolls and Anderson. Rolls feeds it to Anderson. He's in the box. Slips just before he's about to shoot. And it goes straight into the goalkeeper's arm. That's a guilt edge chance for him. It has been raining this morning. It's a slippy pitch. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It was great build-up play. Ross Flitney goal for Eastleigh. Apparently holds the record for getting the fastest, getting the red card in the fastest time at Old Trafford. When he was playing for Barnet, he got a red card in the FA Cup many years ago. Woking on the attack there with Kretschmar. Whips in a delivery, he's flicked over the bar. Rolls out and is cleared down the line by Camp for Eastley. Up to Barnet, he holds it up well, the big front man up that top. That was a very strange effort from Eastley midfielder. <laughs> Woking on the counter now. It's Ine Effiong. He plays it through to Kretschmar. Kretschmar beats his man. Kretschmar driving into the penalty box. Goes down under a challenge. Referee says play on. Effiong dispossessed on the edge of the box. And now Eastley can counter. Through ball. Threaded on to Whitehall. He's on the edge of the box. Sets it back to midfielder. Who has an effort straight into the gloves of Craig Ross. Jake Hezka with the effort there and should have done better you know it was a decent break away from Eastley it was teed up nicely and it was a really tame effort side foot straight at Craig Ross Eastley's best chance of the half the final ball Rolls picked it up just inside his own half he's dispossessed and Eastley coming forward it's fallen kindly for Whitehall it's now out with Barnett on that right-hand side. Barnett lifts it into the penalty box. Header, cross goal from Vincent. Sorry, from Silva. He did really well to get up. He hung up in the air for about 30 seconds. Good header, but he glanced it just wide. Probably the best chance of the half. Barnett, 35 years old, up top. He's a joint top goal scorer last season. Only managed seven so far in the league. He's not played that many minutes. Slip there from Diara. And Eastley are coming forward. Great tackle by Rohan Ince in the box. Had to get it right. Lovely sliding tackle. Slides it out for a corner. Yeah, brilliant work again from Ince. Tracking back and he timed that challenge to perfection. Jack Rolls now over the set piece. Goes down to tie his laces up. Puts up one hand and dinks it into the box. There is Muta Diara who did brilliantly. He was under pressure. Came over his shoulder and he managed to hit it with his right foot off the frame of the goal, out for a goal kick. Yeah, he had no right really to get it, did he? Absolutely no right, no right to get it on target. He's just sent a half. Good play from Moussa Diara. Half. All the way back with their goalkeeper and he, Effiong puts a bit of pressure on. Goalkeeper goes straight to Max Kretschmar. Max Kretschmar dispossessed on the edge of the box. He had Johnson to his left, Effiong to his right and he just ran straight in to the defender really frustrating for Woking and Darren Sarlock very frustrated on the on the on the touchline just as I say that Anderson managed to get a good ball into the box good delivery Max Kretschmar with the header straight into the goalie's gloves yeah but that's the good thing about Kretschmar you know even if things don't go his way he doesn't drop his head he picks himself up and there he was nearly on the getting on the end of the cross and you know diverting it goalwards He's infectious. First, flicked it on to Johnson. And Woking's champion clears for Ine Effiong to chase. Using his pace, he's bearing down on that long ball. Ine Effiong does well. He goes past one. He's for two. He's at the bye. Then he sets it back for Anderson, who shoots on goal. It's deflected off the line. Woking still have it in the box. And Harper will manage to clear down the line. But that was Woking's moment. As the ref blows his whistle, that was Woking's chance to get their noses in front just before the lead. It was a great block on the line from an EC defender. It was, but it all came about through Ine Efreon. 
not giving up a lost cause, chased it down, put the defender under all sorts of pressure, forced him into a mistake, did really, really well then to win the ball, get his head up and rolled it into the pass. I think it was Anderson again. And, uh, you know, yes, great defending from the... Inside the working back. half, he gets it back immediately from the throw and dinks it down the line. Lovely little flick on from Hescliffe. And an effort from Whitehall ricochets off a Woking player. Tyreek Johnson now running in field. Falls at the feet of Jack Rolls. He then throws it through to Ineffion. Ineffion's in the box from a wide angle. Shoots goalkeeper. Palms it away. And it's back with Rolls. Woking continue to attack. Jack Rolls driving forward into the penalty area. Jack Rolls under a bit of pressure, still got it. Tries to turn and shoot, goalkeeper saves. He did well, Jack Rolls, to get into the box. Just couldn't really find enough space to get a shot off. Well, we've seen more shots on target in the first five minutes of this half than we saw in the entire of the first half. But, um, yeah, you know, let's hope Woken can, if you like, as I say, up the ante a little bit. I need to give the crowd something to shout about. That's what you said, John tests the goalkeeper. They've tested him twice already, he's passed. Effion tries to cross the ball, it's deflected, he's got it back, out on the right, back to Anderson, he returns it to Effion, Effion plays the first time delivery into the box, his head is clear, and then Casey picks it up, Casey gets the ball across the face of goal, Anderson can't jump high enough to head it, and it's cleared up to Barnett, good header from Barnett, down to Hesketh, Hesketh coming forward, down the left-hand side for Eastley, he's up against Musa Diara, he's into the penalty box, Tries to curl it into that top right-hand corner. Takes a deflection. Corner for Eastley. Good break, good hold-up play by Barnett up top. Yeah, Barnett, when he's got on the ball, he certainly showed why, you know, Peterborough paid a lot of money for him. Crawley as well. He throws it back to Casey, who takes the throw-ins from the left-back position. Into the path of Loza. Loza whips the ball across the face of goal. And Eastley's Wilson... Second start of the game, tried to clear that and nearly nearly kicked it backwards into his own goal. It went out for a corner. That would have been a horrible own goal for the, the, the young lad from about. the right. It's an out swinger into a central area. Kretschmer gets up, heads it up. It's now at the feet of Lozer on the edge of the box. He's dispossessed. Barnett coming forward for Eastley. He does well. He plays it forward looking for the run of Smart. The substitute just on the pitch. Smart, he's in the box up against Casey. Tries to go past him, goes down under a challenge, nothing given. Ball rolls out for a Woking throw in. Eastley fans really wanted a penalty there. Well, I think Smart is going to be booked for, for diving. Well, or complaining. Either way, it's the first yellow. First yellow of the game then for Sam Smart. Winger signed from Basing Stoke, just his 11th appearance of the season. Effion just on the edge of the 18-yard box. Drop kip goes long. It's gone over all the way to Whitehall, who just rounds the ball over Craig Ross. And that's a disastrous goal for Woking to concede. It's just a long drop ball from the goalkeeper. None of the Woking defenders challenge for it. And then on comes the easy striker, just to lob it over the top of Craig Ross. Well, wow, what an awful goal to concede. No communication. The back four just stood there and watched. I don't know whether it was a lack of communication between Craig Ross and his defenders, but seriously, you cannot give away goals like that at this level. Really, really poor goal for Woking to concede. Effion wrestling for the ball in the penalty area. It's headed back towards goal by Casey. Casey's got it on the edge of the box. Shouts of shoot, he sets it back to in. Ince out to Long King. Long King just moving the ball forward, rolling over with his stud. Sets it back to Ince. Ince with the square pass to Rolls. Rolls is onto it. Rolls with the effort on goal and into the top corner. It's a lovely finish from Jack Rolls to get the equaliser for Woking. The goalkeeper didn't even move. Lovely finish. It's Woking 1, Eastley 1. And that's exactly what he is capable of doing. It was a magnificent strike. He just took the ball on a couple of paces and just absolutely let one go, and it just rocketed into the net. Keeper was just wrong-footed. A fabulous goal. It really moved in the air after it left the, bo the end of his foot. He just got a little bit of space on the edge of the box. So Sam Smart tried to nick it 
on the interception, missed it. Just gave him that half a yard. Moment of quality from Woking, and they're back in this tie. And the crowd at last have something to cheer about. Yeah, what a strike it was. Josh Casey down the line into Effiong. Effiong does well as he does. Holds up the ball over the halfway line. He's motoring forward out to the right-hand side for Long King. Long King down the line looking for Wabuke. Wabuke is by the byline. Can he get it across the face of goal? Hits off an easily defender. Corner for Woking by Wabuke on the edge of the box. Sets it back for Casey. Casey just about keeps it in. He goes down the line to Loza. Loza's got two players in front of him. Goes past one, sits him down, goes into the box. Jamal Loza with the effort just over the bar. Would have been a lovely goal. He sat down camp in front of him. It was a beautiful bit of skill from Jamal Loza. It would have been. Throw in for Casey down the line. Ineos Young uses his strength just to push Smart off the ball. Great ball as well, out wide. Great ball out wide to that right wing, Long King. Doing some step overs. On the edge of the 18-yard box, sets it back to Rolls. Rolls with the effort, yard or two over the bar, not troubling the goalkeeper. Out for a goal kick. And the stadium announcer just said that the man of the match for the Woking fans is Jack Rolls of their only goal, not surprising really. Kabamba with the flick on, looking for Effiong, headed clear by Camp. Kabamba gets it back, he then sets it up for Loza. Loza's on the edge of the box, he's entered the box. Low effort, round his defender. Easy save though from Flitney, wasn't enough power on it. effort though, and it's picked up by Loza. Loza driving towards the box, he's still got it to Loza, tries to go round Camp. Camp's got it, Camp clears it for Eastley. And then a bit of pushing and shoving again and oh dear oh dear Jamal Loza gets a red card as him and Camp went down around the ball he did kick out I saw him he kicked out with the back of his foot David Beckham-esque in the World Cup that's what it was like and Rolls puts a hand in the air whips it to the back stick Long King comes in cleared by EC falls for Kretschmar he leans back smashes it out of the ground disappointed Time. I suspect there's probably around three or four minutes remaining of this, the eight that were given. Kabamba wins the ball in midfield for Woking. He's then dispossessed. Diara then does well to intercept. Simpson's got it though. Free sees through on goal. And he hits the post. He gets a second chance. Cuts it back to Smith. And Smith finishes it for Eastley. And Eastley have won it at the death here. Again, it was poor defending from Woking and the Eastleigh players run over to their fans and celebrate with them. It was poor defending and Simpson, the substitute, did really well and he was really unselfish to set it back to Smith. Poor defending from Woking again and they've gifted their opposition a goal. These eight additional minutes of stoppage time and there we are, there is the referee's full-time whistle and it's a dispiriting loss for Woking on the final home game of the season. They conceded a goal, the first goal in the second half from Whitehall. It was a defensive error, it was a drop kick by the goalkeeper, went over everybody.